Guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be working on the 2018 Dodge Charger Pursuit vehicle. And as you've seen in the previous video, we finally got the whole entire front end painted and now it is fully dry and we're ready to start piecing this front end together. So let's go ahead and get started with the front bumper. this front bumper back together but we're still missing a few plastic pieces like that side little plastic uh i think it's a vent it's an air vent it's, it's an actual, actual duct it's yeah, really it's actual brakes. duct yeah just check that out dude that's freaking sweet right there going straight toward them police interceptor brakes but we're gonna actually go to our parts car remove that front bumper because we still need a bunch of other things like this little uh bracket right here and air duct and also these little uh bumper brackets that we can actually pop on our car so once we get all that we're gonna throw this sucker on there and we did get our other headlight in yes sir we, we sure got, did it's in the back of the car so we got both headlights i think we need to repair our original one i think it has a little crack in but let's go ahead and take that front bumper off and then we're gonna probably go ahead and throw this whole entire front bumper set up on the car man I mean, dude, this thing is looking It's already sick. looking better, dude. Just with the little vents and the, all the little uh, grills inserts right dude, here. Looks that's the sick. reason why we went with this bumper, as we mentioned a couple times, you know what I mean? Yeah, it just the looks black really good, just man. looks like a cop, and you guys want us, to, want us to keep it as original as possible, like a police interceptor? I mean, that's why we're going to do the lights doing. and everything and all the cages and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and head back there and get some parts. So we finally pulled off this front bumper. It has everything that we need, including some extra stuff like these little bumper brackets that's gonna help us screw on the bumper to the fenders and a bunch of other clips right here. So we got a bunch of stuff here, even little side marker lights that we're gonna use. And as for the front end over here, we're actually gonna go ahead and remove this headlight to remove this little uh, windshield washer reservoir because ours was completely obliterated. It was missing and all that stuff. And we got a bunch of extra parts on this thing like uh, this little cyclone thing that we're probably gonna go ahead and remove right now, right? Since yeah. we're throwing the front bumper. For sure. On. might as well go ahead and remove this thing probably remove some of this wiring later on though we need to go ahead and focus on putting that front end together and we did notice a bunch of differences on this car compared to our car this is a 2018 but it's not the all-wheel drive but check this out dude this a, is a 2017 oh yeah this is a 2017 ours is a 20 one year older yeah one year older i don't know if it's just because it's the all-wheel drive i mean just because ours is all-wheel drive this is a two-wheel drive but the upper and lower control arms are like toothpicks compared to ours dude look at that that's like dude. almost a quarter inch tick you can break them suckers hit yeah. a drift and shoot dude i don't know i don't know if that can handle any whoops or anything on the you know on the track but i mean everything else is almost the same i don't know if these shocks are the same they look a little bit different and one major thing is it doesn't not have the hydro assist steering which ours does this looks like it's just electric power steering so a bunch of differences a good thing we got all wheel drive but right now let's go ahead and try to remove everything that we need and keep moving So this headlight is installed, but as for our other headlight, it is a little bit broken. We do have one tab that just cracked off. Is that it? Yep, that's it. We're just gonna, I'm, I'm actually gonna just plastic weld it, just solder it down to it, and then we're probably gonna go ahead and put some epoxy on it. And we did notice another crack 
that form. Luckily, the whole tab didn't come off, but as you can tell, I pull it up. There's a small, small little crack there, which we'll probably just go ahead and put some epoxy on that as well. So no kind of condensation forms in here, which looks like there already was a little bit, as you can tell in that corner right there. But let's go ahead and try to get this thing fixed so we can throw this on. guys so this headlight is repaired we ended up just using mesh and melting it deep down inside the plastic and now it is nice and strong and we got both of them in and it looks absolutely amazing they all work and all that good stuff but right now we're actually gonna jump on the front bumper finish completely assembling it and then we're gonna throw it on the car Check this out, we finally got that bumper installed. It looks absolutely amazing, but it was a little bit tough actually matching up the aftermarket bumper with the OEM hood and the fact that it is a Hellcat hood and also like a base model. Yeah, base model front bumper, but we got it really good. It was super dude. difficult. I gotta say, aftermarket parts got a, probably got the most difficult oh, adjusting. Dude, they suck. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie, dude. I'd, yeah. I'd always wanna go OEM, but they are a little bit more expensive, so you gotta pay to play. But it is super late on us right now, but we're gonna catch you guys tomorrow, bright and early in the morning. All right, guys, so it is the next thing. What we're gonna do is actually completely fasten that front bumper on 100% and then hopefully take this thing down the road. Yeah, dude, I think we're gonna have to probably tape off the sheriff just to avoid any legal matters, you know you what I mean? Taped it off, or what do you think about taking it off? It's just too much work taking all that I off. I think we should just throw tape over that and yeah, get, this, get rid of this R and put an H there. That way it says Hustle County. What do you Hustle, think about Hustle that? Hustle County, yeah, let's, let's do it, man. I'm excited to actually put this thing on the road, dude. It's gonna be insane. The boys are ready. They're ready to go. I mean, they've been trained. They're, I mean, attack. Come on. Attack. 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 Get them. Get them. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> he just went through the he window. Went through the window. He learned that himself. We did not train him no, that. No training whatsoever. But yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to get that first test drive. Uh, there is a few little things that we need to do before we can yep. do that, right? Yep, let's do it, man. boys so we got the decals all taped up with some yellow tape now we need to take care of our airbag issue here yep. the very fast and simple way to fix an airbag is uh, get you some gorilla tape cut mm -hmm. the bag out and tape it up man it's not it's not road safe but 
It'll do the trick for what we're going to do. It's pretty to the eye. That's all we want. I mean, I don't think this stuff will even stick to it. it got so much uh, detailing stuff yeah, on there. Yeah, it's got that protectant. But dang, look at that. Our, this dash got jacked up. Good thing we're swapping it out with the parts car, which is yeah, nice which is and clean. actually in perfect condition. Uh, so that's going to be here real soon, right? Whenever we uh, swap everything out. We are waiting on one roof airbag, right? right? Yeah, one roof airbag right there. And everything and else. That's about it. What about good. that stuff right there? Should we fix all that stuff right there? Uh, it doesn't look too bad. It just looks like it popped off from that airbag just exploding. I'm sure we can fix it. We'll be removing this headliner anyways to it actually install the roof lights, the light bar up there. Oh, yeah, that's true. We have Shoot. to drill a hole in the roof, so we're going to have to be re removing this headliner to just install that. Since we couldn't tape that one up, we're going to tape up tape of this one just so we have our horn, you know? And it gets in the way when you yeah, turn it on. That's what I'm saying. It. That should do the trick, but you know what? I'm going to do more just, just to make it look nice and pretty. I'm sure the horn don't get stuck on. No. Oh, we don't we, we won't be needing the horn where we're going right took care of that look at that it looks nice and clean perfect like, dude don't even need a new airbag like nothing even happened but i'm gonna go ahead and cut out this knee airbag that way we can hit that long pedal you know what i mean that super long pedal over there this, and the brake pedal is most important no i think the skinny pedal is more important yeah whichever one you <laughs> like the most is the most important one out of all hey but that brake pedal is upgraded too i wonder if that hurts when it hits your knees man you know dude i've never been hit by an airbag and uh i hope i never have to but i never even thought about the knee airbag i wonder how that works whenever you get in a wreck dude i bet it hurts <laughs> dude i bet it does but you know what safety is number one priority as uh, some people would say it so let's go ahead i think we're ready for, to hit the road aren't we yeah let's we're see. actually we're going to kind of do a little bit of off-roading and we're actually probably going to head to our property i know a lot of you guys have been asking for an update so we're going to take you guys there we got plenty of room to do like some yeah. some, some burnouts some donuts all that good stuff so I think we are ready to go. Let's Let, hit the let's, road, let's man. Let's hit the road. It's crazy. Let's do it. All righty, guys. So we are off on our very first test drive ever in the cop car. And uh, hopefully all goes well. Hopefully we don't overheat. That's like the only thing I'm worried about. Everything yeah. else should be good, right? Yeah, radiator fluid. Uh, we did top it off just now. So hopefully we're good there. But everything else, uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be crazy, man. I'm excited to actually feel the power on the road, man. Not on the grass. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. We're off. It's a very smooth ride already, you know? Yeah, dang, it's smooth on the road. She got some juice, son. We do need to throw some curves at her, that's yeah. for sure. But dang, dude, it's actually a smooth ride. Just normally driving this car, the suspension's actually really smooth, you know? I thought it was gonna be really like stiff suspension because uh, it's all upgraded or something like that. But it's actually really nice to drive. Got the reverse cam work, and that's crazy how it works like at all times. You can literally just press it and it'll just stay on. So, oh, does it go off? off? But I guess you can just hit it right there and it'll turn right back on. Like if somebody's nice. somebody's tailgating you or yeah, something. Yeah, you turn it on to see who it is, you know, read their front plates or something like that. That's crazy, dude. I wonder if that's just the elite's version. Probably. All right, guys, so we've made it here. As you can tell, we got a good bit of grass that grew up since the last time we've been here, so may need to mow it. Think I should mow it right now? Yeah, go ahead and bring out the weed whacker. I'll bring it out for you. Hold on. Shoot, you might think that's a weed whacker, but that's a full all-wheel drive zero turn right there. Let's Mega. Put it to the test. Let's put it to the test. Don't jack anything up. That's a fresh paint job. Yeah, let's do a couple launches. Actually, start from the gravel and just launch straight there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't be on the concrete though. Get in, get all the way over there in the gravel. Clean and mean. That thing looks clean and mean. This is the perfect test strip right here. Empty lot. Let her rip. Let me move this log right here. Got a bad feeling about that log. Just whip it, see what it's got. Woo! I'm just scared to hit the grass. Yeah, let me see if you did any damage to it. You got a little bit dirty, but no damage so far, so you get zero brownie points right there, sir. Oh man, I would like to whip a circle, but I seen that uh, trailer that we ripped the parts to. Ooh, here. man. Don't want to run right into yeah, that. Yeah, we'll give you guys a little bit more information on what's going on with the property here real soon. As soon as I cut this one last one. Yeah, you gotta cut one. At least one. Do do a full cut. Is traction control off? It's in sport mode. I don't know how to completely do uh Um some of the people on uh on our channel were saying that you turn the car off. Alright. And as you hold the traction control button, you turn the car on. So hold the traction control button. Okay. And then turn the car on. Do I let go? See it's just a sport. 
Action control support. Electronic hmm. stability control off. There you go. Is that it? That should be it, dude. You should be able to do a full 360. Let's send it. Do a full send, dude. <laughs> hey, that was pretty sick. It's got too much grip, don't it? Ooh, got way too much grip. Got dirt in my eyes from doing that, but it just won't sling. I guess we got to wait till it's a little bit wet. You know what I mean? Yeah, we don't want to ruin this fresh paint job anyways. Yeah, and it, and it, the all-wheel drive is just really not allowing it, even with the traction control off. I mean, it's spinning, but you still got all four wheels up to the ground. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, we're, we're going to baby this thing until we get some boost. All right, let's do it. All righty, guys. So, we are done ripping. That was pretty fun. Maybe we'll try to figure out how to disable the all-wheel drive system. I know a few people mentioned that you pop a fuse or something, but we'll worry about that later. As of the property, I know a lot of you guys have been asking what's going on with the Goon Squad Garage, but we're still in the process of doing paperwork, permits, engineering. All that stuff is taking time. It's taking about like a month just to pull permits because we are on commercial property. And honestly, this is industrially zoned as well. So there's a bunch of hassle to deal with it, but guys, it's all in the process. We're gonna have a pretty sweet metal building here. It's gonna be a lot bigger than ours at home, and we're gonna have a big old crew, probably hire a few people. So just stay tuned for that. Be patient with us. It's gonna be absolutely epic, so stay tuned for that. Right now, we're gonna head back home and probably do a little bit more work to the cruiser. What do you think? Or maybe we should give them a, a few ideas of what we're gonna, what we think about that front bumper. Remember, we were gonna yeah, talk yeah. about we that. Yeah, we wanna talk about that front bumper a little bit more and see what we can do, and maybe get some of your guys' help. So. Yeah, get, get some of your opinions, so. That, that's it for the property dude i mean we missed this place man dude, can't wait to put a shop up around here clean this thing back up dude i can't wait till we get like a little bit taller we're going with a pretty tall building so it's gonna be it's gonna have a nice view as we've shown in the previous videos yep we're gonna have a sweet view and all that good stuff and it's gonna be massive and we do want to have a burnout pad and all that good stuff definitely burnout pad definitely our own paint booth and all that good stuff dude paint booth everything just be fully locked and loaded and just you know be ready to push you guys some amazing content. It's gonna be absolutely epic, as I just mentioned. All right, guys, so we are back, and check out how aggressive this front end looks with the DRLs. We just recently noticed how nice they look. They actually are brighter right now because the car is on, but once I turn the car off, check it out, record that. You turn on the blinker. Go ahead and hit the DRLs. Yeah, they're a lot dimmer. Yeah, they go a lot dimmer. But anyways, we're going to talk to you guys about the front bumper over here. We have a little bit of an issue with this aftermarket cheap bumper. It doesn't really fit up just as perfect as an OEM does. Uh, we knew that whenever we bought it, we we're hoping that it did fit up perfect because it's a lot cheaper than a, a brand new OEM bumper. Uh, as you can tell, it doesn't really line up too Honestly, good with the hood. On camera, it doesn't look too bad. But in person, there's that slight little... Uh, gap yeah, that's kind of it kind of like annoys me a little bit because i like to have my gaps perfect so that for me is just kind of annoying but i can live with it once we throw like the front like push bar on stuff like that but let us know in the comments down below what does that look like to you because it kind of dips a little bit lower we tried adjusting this it actually took us a few hours to get this bumper as best as possible which we're probably gonna have to redo again because we got a push bar that we're gonna install here real soon yeah we're gonna definitely cut into that right there make some holes yeah and i think you cut into the grill and stuff like that which is pretty crazy but we're gonna be doing that man because that push bar i think is gonna completely change the whole entire front end especially like with the black the reason why we went with the police bumper is because the push bar just matches up with that original interceptor front bumper but other than that, uh, we actually got something from our local police officer or local law enforcement officer, a good friend of ours, actually stopped by and hooked us up dude. with the LED spotlight, dude. This thing is insane. I'm not going to say any names, but you know who you are. And do you want to go ahead and install let's this thing? Let's go ahead thing? and pop that sucker I mean, under. just check out the brightness. First, let's go ahead and turn this on. It's pretty bright. I'm not going to lie. At night, yeah, you could spot somebody out. Yeah, you can spot somebody out. But now let's go ahead and throw this bad boy in, dude. This thing feels heavy. Feel that, dude. Feels like some quality, Dang, dude. son. I bet it's bright. So I think there's just one little Allen head right here. And let's go ahead and pop this sucker in. Slap it on. Ooh, that looks good, dude, too. It matches perfect with the headlights. Oh, my God. Turn on the headlights as well. One thing that I was thinking we should do to add to the uh leds is also go ahead and throw in a blue bulb in here instead of the ye yellow main bulb you see the yellow main bulb there yeah uh 
I don't think them are xenons. I think they're just regular bulbs, yeah, right? Yeah, I don't think those are exact because they don't have like ballasts behind them. Yeah, them are just some regular bulbs. I don't think they did like the upgraded ones for the uh, hey, higher models. That's all good. We're going to have light bars and stuff yep. as well. We, get, we can put like a 6,000K uh, bulb in there and make it nice and blue, match everything. But that is freaking bright. We're going to have to test this out at night. And also what we were supposed to do is test out the blue lights on the other car at night as well. Oh, dude, so that's going to be bright. So we might have to catch you guys here in a little here couple a little hours. a little bit, test everything out all right guys so the lighting is actually perfect so let's go ahead and put some juice to this thing and show you guys these lights during the the nighttime basically dude this is where they're gonna shine the best honestly it's not too dark it's not gonna blur the camera out just go ahead and you can catch this it lights out really nicely at night all the things but right here uh is this the main oh light oh my goodness dude, dude. so freaking bright that's insanely bright you can't get over how bright that is and that's just the first one there's a bunch of them i guess this is the one that they use all the time when they i guess pull people over yeah it turns it on all the way around just blue in the re in the rear and then white and blue in the front dude that, that is, is pretty dude, freaking that's bright. bright dude you can use that as a light bar at night or something like that that is sick i don't think this will be illegal at all unless you're like driving on the road yeah. blinding people you know off-road use only pretty yeah, much off-road use only that's it dude. i love the left arrow that is sick dude that i only looks... i only like the right arrow right arrow <laughs> i like the left arrow because i love pretty that, pretty dang bright you pull dude. up you want to like you go to your mailbox at night you drive right by it you can just turn this sucker on right here and look right into it hit the zigzag and i guess that's it pretty much this is called a wig wag or wig wag that is pretty dang cool now let's go ahead and test out our spotlight <laughs> Dang, dude, I think you hit something. Did you run something over? Yeah. I, I thought you hit the quarter panel against that pipe or something. Uh -huh. let, me, let me check. Nah, yeah, you did a little, a little full send. Good luck. <laughs> dude, you had some good luck with you. I yeah, I seen that, that pipe, but then I think I just ran over something. Let me try to give it a little ripping, dude. Give it a little ripping. I, tur I turned the traction control off, so. Oh, did you? I yeah. just want to do a couple loop de loops. All right, do, do the traction control off. <laughs> Oh my, what? Bro, you dusted me. You dusted me should bad. We, should we go up that steep stuff or should we uh, send it home? Dang, it's hard to say. Will it go through that little ditch right there? I don't know, I hear sirens. <laughs> We're not doing nothing legal. This is private property as well. Yeah, let's, just, let's see if you can go through that ditch. All right, I'm just gonna ease it on through. All right. Oh, you're good, man. This thing's lift about two inches. Make sure I don't straighten. Slow down, slow down. Cut a little left. Just a little bit. All right, that's good. You're good. Oh my goodness. Hey, that thing took off. Oh man, it goes perfect with the sunset, the smoke. <laughs> dude, that, that thing, thing freaking rips off-road especially. Dude, it's an off-roader, dude. That oh. all-wheel drive is amazing. Dang, my lens is dusty. Oh yeah. <laughs> did it you get any clear no yeah i think it did but you trying to go up that hill right yeah, there yeah it's gonna go up that hill and then we're gonna head back home let's do it this thing is wild man Dude. i said I, I couldn't believe we took a car down here i know right and it has to be a police interceptor right here Dude. all wheel drive of pure this power this thing almost wheels better than my jeep did i know right that's what i'm saying <laughs> all right let's head back let's do it Alrighty, guys so that is going to be a wrap for today's video hope you guys enjoyed the very first test drive as well as off-roading this thing we had an absolute blast and we got a lot more things coming for this thing real soon so make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything also guys be sure to follow us on instagram where you can get inside scoop there before youtube and if you want to support your boys be sure to visit goonsquad.com and copy some merch with that being said be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you next time peace